President Brown, members of the Board of Trustees, faculty, family, friends, and members of the 2011 graduating class. It is an honor to stand here today, and it is probably one of the most frightening things I have ever done in my life, so please be nice. <laughs> Two years ago, I was sitting on the main floor of my AAS ceremony, looking up at the stage thinking, huh, it'd be pretty nice to sit up there for my bachelor ceremony. Not that I want to speak or anything, but just get an award and be able to sit up there with the faculty. They're all looking like Harry Potter people and be, you know, <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be fun. It'd be a great like cap of this experience. And yeah, here I am today. But <laughs> I really never expected that I would be the one standing here today and give you words of wisdom considering how many amazing people I have met here at FIT who have far more interesting and intelligent things to say. So, like many others, I figured that I would borrow someone else's wisdom. And fittingly, Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling <laughs> said something very suitable for occasions like these. She said, the knowledge that you have emerged wiser and stronger from setbacks means that you are ever after secure in your ability to survive. You will never truly know yourself or the strength of your relationships until both have been tested by adversity. Such knowledge is a true gift for all that it is painfully won, and it has been worth more than any qualification I ever earned. And Rowling's ideas about growing stronger from setbacks and seeing strength in relationships when they are tested ring true for many of us. We all overcame numerous setbacks on the way to making it to this moment we should feel secure in our ability to survive. We prove that we can reach our goals, overcome overwhelming obstacles, pull all-nighters, function on ridiculously small amounts of sleep, and still look fabulous doing it. It is these setbacks and challenges that shaped us, forced us to become stronger. But we've also earned credits from the School of Life, New York City campus. Many of us face challenges we did not expect when first arriving in New York. The city can be overwhelming for anyone. It's nonstop action, busy streets, maze-like subways with rats the size of small dogs, not to mention the cab drivers. But now we know how to navigate this city, and we also know how to multitask in life. We know how to manage projects and deliver results. However, this day is not just about our own achievements. It is about celebrating the many gifts and the many forms they take. Today is also about honoring those who supported us along the way. When we revisit this period in our lives years from now, we may not remember exactly what was said in this or that class or scores on finals that we thought that we would never survive. What we will remember are the people who entered our lives, helping transform us into who we are today. We will remember the faculty who made us extraordinary. We will remember the amazing friends and the incredible, irreplaceable experiences we shared, be it a semester spent abroad together or the trials of a Friday morning retail math class. We will remember those who were there when we needed them, the ones who kept us sane when we thought we were about to lose it. It might be our parents, our partners, our friends, or the guy at Starbucks on 7th Avenue who, needed you, who knew you needed an extra shot of espresso just by looking at you. Knowing that we have these relationships in our lives is something to cherish and be proud of. When we leave here today, we embark on something new and exciting. It will probably be scary and demanding and wonderful and fantastic, just like our years at FIT. Graduation is not the end. It is just the beginning. The beginning of adventures, of careers, and of choices. And although there is no place in the world like FIT, it is the world that now takes over to be a classroom. We will always keep learning, growing, evolving, and proving to ourselves that we have what it takes. Final exams and projects are completed, thank God. But, th but the true test is about to begin. But always remember, this is not a test we take alone. We take this test with the wisdom gained from our professors. We take it with the love and support from our family and friends. And we take it knowing that we can go wherever we want to go. This knowledge is truly a gift. And although it is possible, 
quite possible, I dare say, that you will not remember anything I said. I hope that you remember those who were there for you throughout this experience, who helped you become the people you are today and the lessons that we have learned together. We have all earned our wisdom and our strength, and now it is time to show the world what we can do with it. Congratulations, class of 2011.